I want to take a very radical stance on how to just end terrorism or help quell terrorism. I don't think there is a single plan that is going to end terrorism forever, obviously. That's ridiculous to think that. But I keep seeing things like this instance in Paris, the hack attack, I love that they use that name, the hack attack of government Twitters and websites and stuff like that, that ISIS gets their hands into. Anyway, when I look at, okay, why are these people upset? Why is the Islamic State of Iran and Lebanon upset? By the way, I love the fact that they use Islamic State in that the press recognizes that, like recognizes the term like ISIS. Anyway, it's just the bastardization of, of Islam, but again, the media doesn't really care about that. Anyway, when I see all these attacks and all these instances, I go, well, what, what is the crux of the matter here? What is the big issue? And what it always seems to come down to is the fact that Western world either influences on their society or presence of boots in countries that have the majority of people follow Islam seems to be a, a major gripe with them. So when looking at that, I say to myself, why do we try and influence their way of life? Why do we try and put boots in there to help quell tyrannical leaders and tyrannical ways of life that are killing the lives of innocents? Now some of you answer back, well obviously it's because tyrannical leadership and ways of life that are wrong that kill innocents in the thousands needs to be stopped. Am I selfish to think like this? Because frankly, I'm more of the stance now of, you know, I'd really like to stop a potential terrorist attack in my country or another first world country if it means, you know what, hey, we're not going to press you to change your, your, your outlook of human rights. We're not going to pressure you to change your leadership in your country or literally come into your country and change your leadership for you. Like in, a, in an example of Iraq. Oh, but Archie, someone like Saddam Hussein was an evil dictator who killed thousands upon thousands of his own countrymen. Name one first world country at any point in time that didn't have some sort of tyrannical leader that didn't kill a thousands upon thousands of their own people. What I'm getting at is damn near every country on the planet, spare a few, had some sort of tyrannical leader looking over them, putting down an iron fist, killing people in the thousands, giving a way of life that the people did not appreciate, but the people rose up, fought back, many of which died to get to a better way of life, a better state of affairs, a better system, one that was better than the previous version under that tyrannical leader. So I'm sitting here and I'm saying like, I'm like, oh, you know, it's, it's nice that we overthrew Saddam Hussein, but we instigate more acts from a group like ISIS by doing so. I'm all for the just the radical move of, you know what? I'm sorry, but I have a hard time caring about what some tyrannical leader does, what some oppression is being held down on people in Lebanon, in Syria, in any one of those countries that always comes up in the discussion of oppression, tyrannicism, anything like that. I get it. It's it's shitty. It's it, a lot of innocents are getting a shitty way of life. But my God, I, I time and time again when I look through history, the people banded together, rose up when they got fed up beyond extreme. They didn't have to ask the first world to come in and bail their ass out. Was there an instance or two where that happened? Of course there was. But for the most part. One's country decided how to solve one's own problems. I'm tired of seeing America be the, pol the policeman of the world. It, that, that shit's really getting old. I'm tired just of seeing America do business with all these countries that, frankly, don't like or respect us to begin with. 
So you know what? I'm willing to pay eight, nine dollars a gas if it serves as an ounce of discipline and an ounce of correction to say, hey, you don't want to be nice to us, we're not going to be nice to you. You don't want to respect us? Fine. We don't want to have to respect your way of life. Go ahead and kill each other. Do, do form your little jihad groups or whatever. Kill each other in the streets. Have fun having no ability to pay for the, the service sector, like the policemen, the, keep the hospitals open, whatever like that. Take, take all the oil money you have left and use it up as quick as possible. Because America's done invested in your region. I want to see something like that happen. I honestly do. I'm to the point now where it's like, hey, you don't want our involvement at all? Solve your problems for yourself. We are done investing any time and effort in you. ISIS, you win. You win. How, I mean, seriously, like, is, is, is that what we're afraid of, of saying something like, okay, ISIS, you won? Like, is that really what we're concerned of? Let ISIS win. Let them win. Let them throw a little, a little parade in the street where everyone's going, ah, 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 ah. let them do that. I don't care. I really don't care. As an American, as an egomaniacal American that wants to see us solve all the problems of the world, I won't give a flying fizzock. Yeah, I got around my New Year's resolution there. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, seriously, what, are we really that dead set to say, like, oh, we, we can't give a group like that the feeling of victory? So what? So what? Are, are, are we that wrapped up in, we're number one. We have to stomp out all these groups from the planet. It's, it's our involvement and our pressure of our way of life that works here, <laughs> to some, not others, that is the crux of the matter here. ISIS hates America. A lot of groups in these Arab countries hate America. There's a lot of groups in America that hate America. All I'm getting at is it's, it, 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 it's time to worry about your own house. I don't care if the town down the street is fighting and they all hate each other. Because you know what? It's not affecting my home right here. Unless I decide to go over to that neighborhood and go, Guys, why don't you calm down? Or else I'm going to come over there and calm you down. Because that's when the neighborhoods start having a conflict. Anyways, I don't know why. It just seems like simple logic to me. But I know the whole thing of like, oh, we have to be humanitarians to everyone in the world. We have to love each other as a humankind. Now, while I agree with all of that in principle, it also gets to the point where it's like, well, you know what? What is frankly better for my country? And better for my chances of not getting killed for just going into some public venue, taking a plane flight or anything like that. Am I that wrapped up with saying like, oh, I can't, I can't let ISIS feel they won. I can't let Saddam Hussein feel he won. I, 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 I got to get in his country and take him out of power. I'm not saying vengeance should be sought. Because I know people are going to be like, well, for 9-11, did you want to have any sort of, you know, counterattack for that? Oh, when you're attacked, you have every right to attack back. But to go on these prolonged efforts to try and change entire mindsets that are frankly still stuck in the dark ages? Like you want to go in and try and combat that? Are you retarded? Shit, I'm all for never sending another, another soldier on the ground in an Arab nation that has any sort of group that carries out a terrorist attack. You want to fire a few missiles from a ship, disrupt their way of life like that for, as a way of retribution for an attack? I'm all for that. Screw wasting human lives on that shit. Anyway. I know, it's like, it's like everyone, everyone in the media right now seems to be like, it's, it's time to really stamp out ISIS from the world. It's time to get the hell out of their business and stop worrying about being the policeman of the world. That's how I see it. Have a good day, everyone.